Hi there, homespun friends. It is Sherry. It is great to see you this afternoon. My grandchildren just left, and it was wonderful to spend time with them, but I'm pretty tired. Um, they have a lot more energy than I do. I have forgotten all about how much more energy toddlers have than Mimi's have. <laughs> but it was a lot of fun to spend time with them today. And um, I got to hold that brand new grandbaby one more time. He had a great doctor's visit. He's gaining weight. Things are going well. So thank you for all of your prayers and thoughts. I wanted to pop in and let you guys know the winner of the Bible study book. As many of you know, um, we're getting ready at the end of next month to start a new book study. It's going to last about six weeks. And I've been showing you a couple of times the book, but I'm going to show it one more time. Uh, it is called Anonymous by Cindy Wood, Discovering the Somebody You Are to God. And um, Janet, who is uh, one of my viewers, she has said that she would like to sponsor a giveaway, and she would like to give away one of these books. And so many of you entered that little uh, giveaway, and today I plugged all of those names into my computer and hit the button, and the name that popped out was Fallon Moss. So Fallon, you are the winner of our our book and I will be sending your address and information over to Janet and she will get that book to you as soon as possible and in plenty of time for you to start um, reading up and studying up and for others of you who would like to still would like to order the book you can get this book on Amazon I'm going to give you a link in the description box below so that you can place an order if you want one um, it's about ten dollars and 39 cents I think it is right now and I tried to pick one that was close to the ten dollar mark um, because some of them get very expensive and I know that you know we're all watching our dollars so um, if you still find that you're unable to purchase this book it's okay you can just come along with us each week as we do our study and talk together you can take some notes and you will be able to respond in the comments with your thoughts and ideas about what we are sharing and it, it will be wonderful it will be wonderful anyway even if you don't have a book but if you do have a book you'll probably get a little bit more of an in-depth study from this particular one I also wanted to come along today before I leave and share with you my scripture writing for June the 27th um, I have loved scripture writing this month because it is focused solely on forgiveness and on two different kinds of forgiveness really on the forgiveness that Christ has given to us and then the forgiveness that we are to give to others and both of them are to be equal <laughs> the the same generosity and amazing boundless grace and love and forgiveness that Christ gives to you and to me we are to give that to others as well and it's not easy and we did have a video during this month talking about being obedient when it comes to forgiveness and if you missed that video you need to go back this month and watch that one with us as we talked about how we can't base everything in our Christian faith on our feelings if we do that we're going to mess up we have to base our behaviors and decisions on scripture and on what God tells us to do and when he tells us that we have to forgive then we have to forgive and we have to find a way to do that and leaning on him and looking to Him is the only way we're going to be able to. Well, our scripture for today was so much fun. I just thought it would be a wonderful one for us to talk about, to have during this week, to focus on, um, since it is the last week of June. And the scripture came from Psalm 32, 1 through 5. And here is um, my little drawing. I, I focused on the word joy today, because when I read the scripture this morning, and I, I closed my eyes, and I just thought over the words that I had read. Joy is exactly what came to my mind. I feel joy when I read this passage. And then joy is actually used two times in this scripture passage. So let me read that to you. It says, Oh, what joy for those whose disobedience is forgiven, whose sin is put out of sight. Yes, what joy for those whose record the Lord has cleared of guilt, whose lives are lived with honesty. When I refused to confess my sin, my body wasted away, and I groaned all day long. Day and night your hand of discipline was heavy on me. My strength evaporated like water in the summer heat. Finally, I confessed all my sins to you, and I stopped trying to hide my guilt. 
I said to myself, I will confess my rebellion to the Lord. And you forgave me. All my guilt is gone. Friends, I love that passage. I love it. If you are a person who is holding in guilt and shame, turn that over to Christ. Give it to him. Let him have it. He says he puts our sins as far as the east is from the west. Repent to him. Tell him the areas where you have sinned and then let him have it. Friends, our faith will grow when we turn our sins over to God. And we say, you know, we want to hold on to those sins. We want to keep doing them. Sometimes we find ourselves in a habit where we just want to keep going on, lying to ourselves about what sin really is. But when we finally stop that, then we are going to turn that sin over to God. And He is going to take that and He is going to make us brand new. And we are going to feel all the guilt and all the shame coming off of us. And we are going to feel free because He has given us full 100% forgiveness. And friends, when you make a true uh, repentance before God, you're going to change your direction. Repentance doesn't mean saying that you're sorry and then continuing to do the same things again and again. Um, it means to make a change. It doesn't mean we won't ever sin again. And sometimes we do make the same mistake more than once. Most of us do. But it means that truly in our hearts, we are making an effort to totally turn from that sin and to follow God's path. And you know what? All that we have done, all the dark and shameful things that you may think, nobody could ever forgive me for that. He can wash it clean. He does. And He fills our hearts full of joy. And when we have joy, friends, others can see it. It doesn't mean we're peppy 100% of the time. It doesn't mean that we're happy every day and that we feel gung-ho every minute and we never get down or we never get angry. That's not what it means. But it means that joy, the joy of Christ, continues to balance out our lives. It continues to motivate us. It puts a smile on our faces when we think about what Christ has done for us. And we can't help but share that love and excitement with others because that is what he has called us to do. Thank you so much, friends, for spending time with me today, for letting me share my scripture writing for today with you. And um, congratulations once again to Fallon for winning the book. And hopefully others of you might be um, motivated to do a giveaway sometime. And um, we'll be able to continue to share God's love with each other as we go along through our days. I've enjoyed spending time with you. And as always, I look forward to next time. Bye-bye, friends.